Hello and welcome. I'm Miles O'Brien. A new boat designed to be faster and more stable will help the Coast Guard rescue accident victims sooner. As Ann Kellen reports, speed in rough seas can make the difference between life and death. Every minute counts in saving a life on land and at sea. This 47-foot motor lifeboat could become the Coast Guard's next ambulance on water. It will have to withstand grueling weather conditions. You know, the waves are just awesome. A lot of people don't realize how, uh, uh, how bad it gets out there. It will have to be steady and maneuver well. If you're in the water and you're drowning, uh, you're dying, or, or you're hypothermic, how fast do you want somebody out there to, to pull you out of the water? It has taken nine years to design, build, and start testing this 47-foot motor lifeboat. This one of many tests measures how much stress it endures before it capsizes and how quickly it recovers. For two years, the prototype has been in the hands of a select team of Coast Guard rescuers who navigate the rough seas. With 50 years of rescue experience between them, they are testing every aspect of the boat. They've improved the steering, upgraded its hydraulics, and have used it on real rescue missions. We were on a case of a fishing vessel, Sea King, capsized and sank while it was under tow in the Columbia River. And we pulled five people out of the water on that case. Stand by, stand by. Let him get out away from the boat. Well, the speed of the boat was an advantage, being able to get in and uh, get the people out of the water quickly. Speed is the biggest change over the existing rescue boat. This 47-footer is the first Coast Guard rescue boat made of all aluminum and moves two to three times faster than its predecessor, a heavier aluminum and steel 44-foot rescue boat. Where a 44 would punch its way through the brake, this thing will ride up and over it. And that's really a neat advantage because you're not getting plowed with water. I think we just came up with a new Olympic event. That was incredible. The boat, they say, has other advantages. A flying bridge for better visibility, with two control stations so the operator can watch a rescue mission from either side of the boat. If you're picking up somebody out of the water on the starboard side, you can look right down at them. Or on the 44, you have an enclosure around you, and you're depending on people telling you where you are. The distance to pull someone out of the water is less, four feet on the boat used today, compared to a foot on the prototype. The prototype is equipped with state-of-the-art navigational equipment, electronic compass, electronic steering, improved radar, and autopilot. So for longer cases, with the autopilot feature, some of the navigation features on the boat, and the better ride, we should be able to uh, stay out longer on, on searches uh, without overly fatiguing the crew. Its sturdy, steady ride endures even in rough waters of 18 to 20 foot surf. The boat is getting rave reviews. I think it's a really good boat. It's a more capable resource than the boats that we've ran in the past. It's faster. It gets on scene faster. Um, it's, it's much more of a stable platform. When we intentionally put the boat into a bad situation, for instance, broadside to a 10 or 12 foot breaker, and the boat virtually survives it with no problems. I mean, the people are sitting there looking at each other, uh, wondering what happened because the boat is so stable. So we're real pleased with the boat. Uh, we, uh, like I said, think it's the greatest thing since white sliced bread, really. The next phase of testing starts after five more prototypes are built and tested by other Coast Guard rescuers, 